Welcome back to another Discord bot tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be going over a very basic embed guide and how we can use embeds in any command that we would like to um, make our commands better and look more professional. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is what an embed uh, on Discord looks like. Uh, you can have a title, description, um, some fields. Uh, you can have a thumbnail, an image, a footer, and a timestamp. You can also have a user right here. Um, and you can use links and you can use embeds to uh, make your code so much better because you can have like time uh, when the when you um, perform the command um, you can literally have um, anything in here and it makes it so much easier uh, to actually do your commands like if you wanted to use a band command um, and you wanted to see who banned you could uh, add Right here, you can make it say who actually uh, performed the command and who banned, uh, but that's just an example. Uh, so let's jump right into um, the embeds. So uh, for this, we're going to be using the constructor, uh, which is basically where we create a new embed and then we um, use the variable embed and then send it in the message.channel.send. Uh, if we use the object, it makes it look a lot bigger and it's usually a lot more code. Um, by using an object, uh, so honestly, I just recommend using the um, constructor because it's a lot easier. You have your variable, and then you can just uh, move on with your life. Um, but yeah, so basically, what you can do is you can um, create a variable, and then you can do a new message embed, and then you can set the color, title, URL, whatever you want here. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial bot, and I will show you guys how you can actually do this uh, within your own code. Okay, so where we left off, we had a command handler, we had our message arrays, test command, and our member count command. Um, so what we're going to need to do for the embeds is we're going to have to go into the uh, start of our file right under the um, where you require Discord. And then we can do a const um, message embed equals require discord.js, just like that. Um, and then we can close that off. Uh, so this will um, allow you to actually do embeds. If you don't do this, you won't be able to make embeds. Uh, so now we can go ahead and actually create a new command. So we can do embed test. Then we can do if command equals 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 um, embed. Then we can open that up. All right, so now in here, we can actually create the embed variable. So we can do const embed. You can name that whatever you want, but I'm going to just name it embed. That's what I usually do for most of my embeds. Um, so you can do const embed equals new uh, message embed. You can close that off. And then right under here, uh, we can do dot set color. So um, these are just some basic things that you can do. Um, I'm going to be going over very basic um, embed features that you can actually, that I use mostly. Um, because some of them are not used that much, but you know, you can, you can play around with that. Um, so you can do set color. I recommend setting a color. Um, it gives you a very long list of colors you can choose here. Um, but if you want, you can also do random. I'm just going to go with uh, blue because that's what I do for most of my embeds. Um, then you can actually set a title. So if I did set title, um, and as you can see, I did an embed uh, for my member account, but that's just like after. Um, so if I did, I do set title um, so I can make this whatever I want. It will automatically be bold. So I can do um, embed title you can also add emojis if you want so if i did like white check mark uh that's how i do most of my band kick uh warn commands um and like add roll and stuff i add an emoji first um but embed test title you can do something like that um and then under that you can set a description um and inside this we can do embed description uh, we can do embed description, uh, but you can customize this to whatever you want. I'm just showing you what it will look like once we code it. You can set a thumbnail um, by doing dot set thumbnail. You can make your thumbnail your guild icon. You could really do whatever you want, but I'm just going to copy this um, uh, tutorial uh, image that they used um, in the Discord.js website just for the example. Um, and then we could set fields, but I, I mean, fields are kind of uh, difficult. They're kind of um, annoying. Uh, let's just say that, um, but we could set fields. I'm not going to do that. Um, we could also set an image. We could set another image. Um, so we could set, uh, well, we'll just use the same image as before, um, but I'll show you guys uh, what this will all look like after. Um, and then we could do um, set timestamp. So this will just set the like timestamp at the bottom of the embed, which is honestly quite useful. I use it a lot in my moderation commands. 
Um, then we could also do set footer. And inside of this, we could do embed created. Actually, hold on. We can do embed created by um, message .author .tag. Uh This is something that I use a lot, like when I use my band commands or because um, I own a, a competitive event server. I'll show you what that looks like here. Um, I see this is like their event name uh, command, so they can submit their own event name. Um, and then it says like nickname of, um, and then their tag. So that, that's how I use it. Uh, that's how I use the embed feature in my actual server. All right. So once you've created your footer, uh, we can go ahead and actually, um, send the message. So we can do message dot channel dot send. And then in here we can do embeds and then inside of here, um, type your variable name. So mine is embed, but if yours was something else, if this name was something else, you can customize this. So if I changed my variable to um, a message embed or something like that, then that's what I would put uh, inside of there. But I'm going to keep it embed. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and save your project and actually turn your bot on. All right. So once your bot is online, you can go ahead and run the command. And as you can see, uh, my embed uh, is, is sent right here. Uh, this looks pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Um, but this is what it would look like if you actually took the time to um, make an embed. Um, so I'll do member count. Um, so this is what my member account command looks like. So as you can see, I have my description. I just use like my title and then my description. Um, I think that's what I did. Yeah, I just, yeah, I used a field, um, for this. So, um, but yeah, you can, uh, customize it. You can make it look really good. If I go into my actual bot test, uh, server, um, I can go ahead and show you guys something. So if I do a uh, ban, uh, well, actually, it says it right here. So this is a good example of how I use embeds. If I did steal and then I put an emoji in here, um, it would send that and it would put it in the embed. So this is how I use embeds um, uh, with discord.js. And I also use it for bands. Um, I, I use it for reports. Um, I use it for suggestions and polls. I use embeds for basically every single one of my commands um, that I that I can. As you can see, I tried to use it for the calculator command, but I had to go back to this. I will link uh, this website in the description below if you guys want to check this out, because it does uh, go over a little bit more uh, than what I did, including like author and fields and stuff. Um, so you guys can go ahead and uh, click that and learn a little bit more. But this is basically just how to code it. Um, the next video will probably be an introduction to moderator commands um, like mute, warn, ban and kick. Um, and then we'll get into some more fun commands like um, my calculator command, my steal command, um, reports, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.